Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about agile software development, um, what it is and how I'd like to compare it. Now, I want to start with a story that's kind of a, a weird one um, when you're talking about software development because it uh, relates to stand-up comedy. I have a good friend of mine who visited, uh, who saw a, a famous U.S. comedian stand-up comedian and here in europe we don't have that much of a, of a stand-up history we've got other types of comedy but not in the in the way that the, the united states or, or england has it and uh, he, his friend was very excited to see this this, this famous u.s comedian because um, he saw his, his netflix specials and um yeah he was really um, delighted to to get tickets and to see him and then afterwards he came back to me and he told me well this guy pff, he sucked i mean his material was weak uh, it was not at all what i expected and I told him, well, did you compare it to the Netflix specials you saw? And he said, yes. And I said, well, um, I don't know that much about stand-up comedy, but what I do know is that these guys refine their material. You know, that they try something. It's much like a magic trick. You need the audience reaction to it to understand what works and what doesn't work. And um, you need to, to refine it, to, to constantly um, try something out, to change it. Um, see how the audience reacts, get some feedback from them um, through their laughter, <laughs> of course, and um, then leave in what, what's, what's working, what, what gets a laugh, and um, throw out the other stuff or maybe tweak it, try it from a different angle. Um, and that's what this guy was doing. He was, he was, he was trying out stuff um, in front of the audience like he, he always did for the past, I don't know, 20, 30 years, however long he was working. And the thing that you see on Netflix or on, on, on other professionally produced videos is basically the uh, refined uh, refinement after refinement after refinement, the, the very best version of the jokes um, without all the, the weak material that he uh, has been throwing out um, for the past um, two years or so, um, however long he's been preparing this material. So it's basically the, the very best version of all the jokes that he's, he's been trying out. And this is where I want to to draw uh, and to, to line to, to agile software development. With Agile, uh, with, with software development in general, um, this stuff is so complex. You don't really know um, what's working. Um, you've got uh, technical risks. You've got um, the risk that people don't understand um, what you're trying to, to, to get them to, to work with with the software. They need to understand the user interface. It needs to work from a technical point of view. It needs to be uh, there on time. It needs to provide some value to the users. Um, and all this is very much complex and, and difficult to really you know, draw on, on a piece of paper and see and say, this is exactly um, what will be working. Much as a choke, you can't really know what, whether it's been, uh, whether it will be working unless you tried it out in front of, a, of an audience. And this is what Agile is about. You try something out. You present something, um, um, an increment of the product. It's not like the whole thing. It's just a little part of the product of your software. Um, and you present it to potential users or even better to, to real users, and um, see whether it makes sense for them, whether they, they can figure it out, whether it provides value to them. And if it does, then great. If it doesn't, then you get back to the drawing board um, or to, to your keyboard and um, you change it. You, you try to, to um, tr try it from a different angle, change something until, well, it actually provides value. And then you keep adding value, keep adding little increments of, of functionality to your software product um, until, well, either the project is finished, the money runs out, the, the customer says, no, I'm, I'm satisfied, I don't need any, any more additional functionality, which is usually not uh, the end of a software project because it's just the beginning of the maintenance and then you need to, to iron out the existing bugs or need to change uh, and, and uh, you know, make it available for, for future um, Operating systems um, like with iOS and Android, every every year more or less we get a new version of it. So um, it's not that when you stop adding functionality, a software project is dead. It's just to keep uh, the existing functionality working. So that's what Agile is about. You don't really you assume that you don't know what what will be working, what the customer wants, um, what kind of technology is working, and you you just start. You start with a very small part of the thing, and then you, then you deliver it to the customer and ask him well what do you think you basically tell him the joke and see whether that gets a reaction whether that gets a laugh okay so that's my sort of weird distinction or my weird weird comparison between stand-up comedy and agile software development